So in this lecture, we're going to talk about variable stars. So that is stars that vary in brightness as they're observed here on Earth. Okay, so in previous lessons, we have learned all about how Indigenous peoples see the cosmos, see country, and how they're connected in this really holistic, relational way. But I'm curious, Pete, how do non-Indigenous people see the cosmos? So within Western understanding of the cosmos, the idea of variability of the stars or anything is a very recent sort of revelation. For the most part, they believed in an Aristotelian universe, where it was this geocentric, finite universe, um, which Aristotle said to be unchanging and, and sort of static for, for all of eternity. And it wasn't until sort of the late, uh, sorry, early 1600s that this began to change and this, this idea of variability of the stars and of the cosmos as a whole sort of really started to come in. And we're going to look at some of the, the, the variability that, that we now know about sort of in Western science here. And now when it comes to variable stars, there are sort of two um, main classifications of that. And those are intrinsic star, variable stars, where the, the variability of the star is actually a property of something that, that happens within the star. And the other ones are extrinsic, where the variability of the star happens by a mechanic that's external to the star. And these variabilities can both be sort of regular variabilities, or they could be semi-regular, periodic, or they could be completely irregular, where the pattern just doesn't exist and they're sort of just randomly changing. And when we're looking at intrinsic ones, there's two sort of um, mechanisms that are, that are behind intrinsic ones. And those are sort of pulsating ones, where the star might get bigger and brighter and then it'll, it'll sort of come back down and, and get and get um, sort of less bright again. Or, or there are sort of eruptive variables where there's, there might be like solar mass ejections or, or even things like cataclysmic variables, supernova, which is another topic that, that we'll discuss uh, later in this course as well. And then the extrinsic ones can be things like binary star systems, mm -hmm. where two systems sort of, two stars sort of rotate around and as one comes in front of the other, it blocks out some of that light um, and even planetary ones. So the way in which we find exoplanets these days is, a, is an example of this eclipsing binary mm -hmm. extrinsic value. And then there's rotating variables. So a star might rotate so quickly that it's actually not circular. It's sort of elliptoidal in shape. And so then as you see different parts of this elliptoid, you'll actually see different variations in the light that it, that it emits here to Earth. 